What is up my of bagels and welcome to some more Call of Duty gameplay as per usual but as you can see by the title of this video Sony raises PS Plus PlayStation Plus prices and it's our fault somehow it's our fault so if you're on PlayStation you've probably already seen the news that Sony is jacking PlayStation Plus price up starting in September so right now to get a full year of PlayStation Plus for $50 or three months for $18 next month these prices will increase to 60 and 25 and really you can just fucking give outrage if you want but let's just face it the reason services like PlayStation Plus keeps rising is because we let them and that's really true and news on the price increase came on the PlayStation blog as an update to the free games for August 2016. The post on the on this misleading terminology in a bit. I'm, I'm, I'm put the source that I'm reading it off as well into the description below. The post is fairly unapologetic, simply simple telling users that they can cancel their subscription before September 22nd if they don't like the new rates if you're in the middle of a subscription you've already paid for you won't be affected until you need to renew and I it just doesn't make sense why they're doing this and it's just I don't really get why they're doing this and I find it just really stupid it also says <coughs> this part of the big difference how however is that PlayStation Plus does not appear to be offering gamers anything extra for their additional fees just like Netflix I think they uh, invested in more shows Amazon Prime added I it was I think it's over a hundred new series and new services Spotify they added more and more music to grow its library but PlayStation Plus on the other hand is selling the same thing as always so online play and some as they say free games let's also put the bed put to bed the myth that these games are free they're not and Sony shouldn't advertise them as such you pay for them as part of your PlayStation Plus description now what I'm thinking here is can you sue them for false advertising then for the simple fact they're saying you get free games on PlayStation Plus but you have to subs you have to buy the subscription so is it really free and it's not a it's not actually free and it's no benefit to us we're basically paying it and I just I don't get why they're doing this and to be honest we always everybody lets companies do this and to be honest I wouldn't mind with like the likes of Amazon Prime Netflix uh, Hulu I think it was Xbox Live as well putting up their prices because they're actually adding new additions I don't think Xbox Live have yet but I'm not sure but Sony have not and they've they're just selling the same thing they did just for a higher price and to be honest I don't I don't see why they're doing this and basically they said Sony said that if you don't like it then cancel your subscription so they're basically just telling people if you don't like it well just fuck off we don't care and to be honest I thought Sony would be a lot better with this but Obviously they're not and it's really sad to see because you know I really like PlayStation and it's sad that they're putting it up and I can see a huge dip in subscriptions and people actually going out to buy a PlayStation after this is out and it's just really really sad and to be honest you know they probably waste their money on getting these free games for people sorry these we bought games for people because the majority of them are just fucking shit like 
they can't give us a, the only good ones they've given us is Smite and Planet Side 2 and at that Planet Side 2 wasn't even fucking great all the rest have been dogs absolutely damn right shit and if they're actually going to give us good fucking games I wouldn't mind paying 60 euro for it because you'd be getting a year and you'd be getting fucking good games but no they give us shitty 2D and fucking shitty ass games for fucking for the 50 euro we pay and they're fucking shite games and you know Sony making their Hello Games as well Sony and Hello Games making the No Man's Sky was a really big flop and I think they see that and they're trying to make their money back and to be honest they're just Sony are not good marketers and they are not a good company or service to be with now and it's really sad to see because I love PlayStation I've been PlayStation since PS1 and it's just sad to see that they're going this way and I do I will be, I know I will be anyway, buying the su subscription, but still, I think I might just buy my games online on G2A or Kingwin, Kingwin, I think that's how it's called, and just fucking get percentage off using my code. <laughs> yeah, but I think I'll just do that because it seems cheaper and you just get a code for your PlayStation, put in the PlayStation, and then boom, you have it. And it's probably like 10 or 20 euro, I know. I could have got my no not Minecraft Jesus could have got um wasn't Destiny what was yeah No Man's Sky I think yeah No Man's Sky Jesus Christ why did I say Destiny for I could have got No Man's Sky for half the price it is on Kingwin I could have got it for thirty euro and got a code put the code in and boom there it is I have it and to be honest I think more and more people will be doing this and buying their subscription on these kind of websites as well because you can do that as well and just enter a redeem code and Bob's your uncle and they're 10 20 euro cheaper but yeah that's it guys hope you like favorite and subscribe if you think this is bullshit say it in the comments below and like and share to all your other PlayStation buddies if you're on PlayStation or don't if you're not on PlayStation but yeah, that is it guys. Hope you like, favorite, and subscribe, and peace.